Now what do we do about sets like these? The set of all numbers including decimals between 0 and 2 and the set of all four-legged animals. Those are pretty big sets. As a matter of fact, the first one is infinite. And instead of writing out all of the numbers, which we really can't do, or instead of writing out all four-legged animals, which is really hard to do, we can write those sets this way. For the first one, we can say that R is the set of all real numbers x, so that x is between 0 and 2, or 0 is less than or equal to x, and x is less than or equal to 2. For the set of four-legged animals, we could write A is the set of all animals M, where M is a four-legged animal. And when we describe a set, as uh, I've just said, we say that we are writing the set in set builder notation. So we kind of build a description of the set rather than writing down all the members. So here's some for you to try. I'd like you to copy this table and fill in the blanks with either a description of the set or the set written in set builder notation. Stop the video while you do that and restart it to find the answers. Okay, first set. N such uh, the set of all n where n is a positive multiple of 5. Well, that's pretty obvious. That's just the positive multiples of 5. That's the way you would describe that set. All right, let's take a look at the set of real numbers less than 100. So this is the set of all x, all real numbers x, such that x is less than 100. You could have used any variable. You didn't have to use x. Next, um, y, the set of all real numbers y, such that y is greater than 0. You could have written real numbers greater than 0, or you could have written positive real numbers. Either one of those would have been correct. The last one, weight you can lift. Well, you might have written something like this, the set of w, such that w is less than 150 pounds. Okay, so if you can lift anything that's less than 150 pounds, this one would work. Finally, the last concept, universal set and complement. So in a particular problem, the universal set is the biggest set you are using. So if the problem you're doing is finding the length of a rectangle, your universal set might be positive numbers. If you're trying to find the solution to an equation, the universal set might be the set of real numbers. If the problem is to list the sports that I like, well, the universal set might be the set of all sports. If the problem is to find a list of presidents taller than six feet, your universal set would be the set of US presidents. And if you want to find a list of vegetables that I detest, then the universal set might be the set of all vegetables. Now remember that the universal set isn't a one particular set. It relates strictly and directly to the problem that you're working on. By the way, here's a list of US presidents that are taller than six feet, if you're interested. Okay, now the complement of a set is defined as follows. If I give you a universal set, and I give you a subset of that, then the complement of that set A is everything in the universe that's not in A. And we write A prime like this as an abbreviation for the complement of A. So let's do a couple. Here's some examples of universal sets, subsets, and their complements. So we'll start. If U is the set of all sports, and the subset A is sports I like, then A prime, the complement of A, is going to be sports I don't like. If the universal set U is the set of US presidents and the subset is A is the set of presidents greater than six feet tall, then the complement of A, A prime, is the list of presidents that are six feet tall or less. 
And notice in this case that when we have a subset being greater than 6 feet, then the complement includes 6 feet and everything that's less. If the universe U is the set of all vegetables and the subset A is the set of vegetables I detest, then the complement of A, A prime, is going to be the set of vegetables I don't detest. If the universe U is the set of integers and the subset A is the set of positive integers, then the complement of A will be the set of negative integers and zero. And we have to remember to include zero because zero is an integer but it's not positive. And finally, the set of playing cards is the universal set U. The subset A is going to be the set of red cards, which are hearts and diamonds. And the complement of A, A prime, is going to be the set of black cards, spades, clubs, and the joker or jokers. And, you know, in this case, adding the joker in the complement is kind of the same thing as making sure that zero is there in the complement of positive integers. And finally, that concludes this video.